Hello everyone, welcome to you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation channel. Today in this session, we're going to discuss about one of the weight method in Selenium as part of Python series, which is explicitly weight. In the last session, we have seen implicit weight. And if you wanted to learn about implicit weight and want to know what, how we have implemented, do watch my previous session and let's get started. And let me open a browser. And here I will try to search for Selenium dev website right so this is a website and you can see in that website we have this weights here so you can click this weights and under that weights we have two weights one is implicit one is explicit so this is a explicit weight that we're going to discuss about and this method is one of the uh, most widely used for a couple of uh, web elements which are not immediately available but it takes time to load so this explicitly weight methods are available uh, to selenium clients for imperative and procedure languages they allow your code to halt program execution or freeze the thread until the condition you pass it resolves and the condition is called within a certain frequency until the timeout of the weight is elapsed so we provide some timeout for this so like 10 seconds 5 seconds so within that stipulated time whether it is getting the element or not if it is not getting the element then it will throw exception so generally if you are not giving any weight method ideally it will throw immediately exception so in this case it will not immediately throw but it will try to find the web element that we are trying to look for method we can call it as a time dot sleep method so thread dot sleep so it is directly representing thread dot sleep but thread dot sleep is different where it will wait for the time that what we give but in this explicitly wait it will try to poll every 500 milliseconds with the expected conditions class so that class will be running every 500 milliseconds so we are providing 10 seconds so it will try to find for 20 times okay and let me see the syntax within the python you can see this syntax web driver wait and the driver with uh, the timeout units and uh, until the expected condition that we wanted to see so this might be a little uh, boring concept let's jump into the actual uh, PyCharm and see how we can start coding. So this is the last session uh, code. I wanted to use the same everything uh, syntax because to save some time. So I'm going to create a new Python file. So this is absolutely wait class. I'm going to use the entire this statement because we're going to save a lot much time. Uh, we are using uh, two import statements. One is WebDriver import and one is a by import, which is trying to find something element here. And we are using a driver reference to hold the Chrome driver. And we are providing the executable file here and we are providing a website URL. Now using uh, how we can start use this uh, explicitly wait so for that i can use this wait uh, normal reference normal reference to locate and here i'm going to use web driver wait so this is the uh, web driver wait which provides you to start using this explicitly wait and this is from the selenium webdriver dot support dot wait dot webdriver wait so you should import this and after that you can provide the driver reference and followed by time in units you can provide five seconds or ten seconds or hundred seconds based on that and after that we have to use the until condition condition so before that uh, we need to import one package. So here you can see I have imported selenium uh, web driver support dot wait and we're gonna use the one more import statement which is selenium dot uh, web driver dot support import uh, that will be expected conditions 
so this is a statement that we need to import and we can name this as aliasing this like uh, as uh, ec we can mention as aliasing ec so you can use expected condition or you can directly use ec ec refers to the expected conditions here so expected conditions dot so we have many methods available within this class so which is of uh, element to be clickable visibility of web element located presence of element located so these are all things that are provided in the website as well you can refer to this website so you can see this expected conditions we have these are the expected conditions that you can use there are a couple of more expected uh, conditions we have so you can use uh, based on your need uh, based on the purpose of the web element that you are trying to locate so here i'm gonna take as element to be clickable and in this i'm gonna use this by dot name so this name will be of q so i'm gonna using the same uh, statement here i mean this line which we have used in the last session i'm gonna use the same uh, path for it and I need to pass some send keys right so you can directly pass to it or you can just call this wait again wait dot I think it's a capital wait dot and you can provide the send keys so you can provide like this or you can directly provide uh, following this so you can directly provide in one step or you can provide in a two-step format you can simply save and quickly run this program and now it has started the execution so application is loaded and the name is also entered over there so this is how we use the explicitly wait method so you can use any method which is available under this expected conditions based on the web element uh, usage like it may be a button it may be a text it may be form field so based on that you can write different different uh, conditions here and you can use this explicitly wait for all the web elements that is taking more time than actual time I hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you for watching